sponsored by Jeans Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, the official dealership of Life in Alaska. Hello, Interior Alaska, Joe Cook here in the sports seat for you on a hump day. The weekend is just on the horizon, but first, let's get to some Wednesday sports. We start tonight with National Letter of Intent signings for our local athletes. Today at Lathrop High School, the soccer players, Connor Matheny and Evan Strong, will play for Pacific University, a Division III program in Forest Grove, Oregon. The Northwest Conference team can use these guys. The boxers finished 5 and 14 last season, but will have a good mix of experienced players coming back and promising newcomers like Matheny and Strong to help turn the program around. These two friends and teammates will take their athletic and academic careers to the next level together. A college choice sometimes just comes down to dollars and cents though. We knew we wanted to go to the same school and so we just picked a school that like gave us both a lot of money and uh, <laughs> that we could both play for. So yeah, it was a yeah. big Been big best friends since like sixth grade. Played soccer together ever since then so we've kind of always wanted to stick together. So It's been something that they've discussed jokingly for the last couple of years. But they really got hot and heavy into it probably the last year and a half. And they've both elevated their play, really thinking they are going to go to college. This is what they want to do, and they, they're using it to get a college education. So. And another Malamute signed a national letter of intent, and it was senior point guard Jasmine White. White will go to Glendale Community College in Arizona. The Division II junior college will need a score and point guard like White as the Gauchos won five games last year and lose their top two scores to graduation. They do have a six-footer, but White has been playing with 6'2 Ruthie Hebart this past season, so the transition on the court should be smooth. Excited, White says she wants to contribute and distribute the ball and believes this decision came about by just following her heart. I feel pretty good. Uh, I made the best decision that was best for me and my family. Uh, it was just uh, how, how my heart felt, you know. I followed my heart, not what other people told me to do. It, it's a package deal, so it's the attitude, the discipline, and everything about it. So I'm very proud of her. She's been playing basketball ever since, what, six years old? So, um... She earned it. I'm just coming there to play basketball, you know, do what I can do, and to build a team and myself, and just to be a great facilitator for my coach. And more prep athletes are moving on, but these guys are taking the Dane Ebenez route. If you remember, Ebenez, a North Pole product, walked onto the University of Oregon and last year was the story of the Fiesta Bowl with his Rudy-like career. Will Patriots move Rodgers and Aaron Betts aim to walk on to Division I programs, and these teammates could turn into rivals. Ryan Rogers will try out next year in spring ball for Eastern Washington University, a Division I FCS team of the Big Sky Conference. Rogers is the second quarterback in state history to run and pass for 1,000 yards in consecutive seasons. He is very familiar with Eastern Washington. He's participated in the past four summer camps there. Rogers wants to major in elementary education. Now Betts will walk on this fall for Northern Arizona, also a Big Sky Conference team and rival to Eastern. The school shared the regular season title last fall. Betts led the Patriots with three and a half sacks this season and plans to play fullback for the Lumberjacks or whatever position they deem fit. Betts has family in the Northern Arizona area and Matt Sattler, one of the North Pole football coaches, is a Northern Arizona alum. Okay, in regards to spring sports, I have some good news and bad news. The bad news, softball games this week have been canceled. Sorry, ladies, the good news is that there will be some baseball down in the Delta, if you will, but there is a slight change in the schedule. Lathrop was scheduled for a doubleheader this Saturday with Delta Junction. Instead, Lathrop will still play Delta, but at 1 p.m., and their second game will be a conference game against the Monroe Rams at 4 p.m. in Delta this Saturday. And on a final note, for UAF's May 12th commencement, Olympian and class of 2003 alum Matt Emmons will be the keynote speaker. Emmons won the gold, silver, and bronze medals in shooting in the last three Olympic Games. Emmons was a part of the four NCAA championships with the Nanook Rifle Team. And that'll do it for sports tonight. Thanks for rocking with me for a little while. Stay cool, Alaska. Mike Schultz has your full weather forecast coming up next, and we'll catch you next time.